Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am, and today we're going to be finishing up the main quest dangerous minds but before we do we're going to do a few side quests and grab some magazines so without further ado let's go ahead and get started first thing we're going to do is follow this road south to southwest we're going to take a left here Take out this sentry bot. We'll come over here and discover this real fast. Just Lynn Pier parking. Nothing too special. If you want to loot inside there, you can. Just going to head south. We have another sentry bot over here. Got a salt tron over there. Want to be really careful. Mr. Gutsy. It's hoping to one shot him, but that did not work out. There we go. Took care of him now. Looks like we have some Brotherhood of Steel doing something over here, probably over at Libertalia. Over there, by the way, is a settlement. It's called Croup Manor. If you want, you can clear it out, turn it into your own settlement. It's actually a pretty cool settlement. Jesus. Try to build up our crit real quick. We'll come over here to this church, discover this as well. I think it's Nahant. That's how you pronounce that? I'm not sure. Not good with names or words, I suppose.
A single mouthful of seawater may contain it. Perfect. We're gonna grab this wasteland survival guide. This is going to permanently gain a 10% discount from food and drink vendors. It's okay. Hundreds of thousands of phytoplankton. Right here, I'm going to hack this terminal so that I can get the trophy of hacking 50 terminals. So when you hack 50 terminals, you get the trophy Robco's Worst Nightmare. Now we're going to be heading over to a precinct, grab our last Eddie Winters holotape until we help Nick Valentine out with his quest line. Then we'll get the last two holotapes. But for now, this is going to be the last one. And then we're going to go take care of Libertalia. Which has a ton of raiders over there. We're going to take a left just here. Be careful. You might run into some raiders over here. If you do, be prepared for a fight. If not, then, well, you're lucky. We're going to come upstairs here. Grab this cap stash and then listen to the Eddie Winter Holotape 5. Message to Sal Bosconi. about the Montrano mess, about everything. I think we'd both agree that our attempts to improve North-South relations have been a complete failure. Look, I take full responsibility for the behavior of my guys. I expect you to do the same for that moron Montrano. But what happened in Danvers? I hardly know what to say. Your people turned that theater into a slaughterhouse. Those people are dead on your orders, not mine. And for no conceivable reason I can see. So let's meet. Just the two of us. Talk it all out. You name the time and place. Any winter, signing off. Let's go ahead and try to build up our crit meter. What the? It's gonna come in handy here in just a moment. Take out that spotlight before it sees us. Try to be as stealthy as possible. It's called shooting straight, rookie. <laughs> Damn. Blew her fucking head <laughs> off. We're not gonna fight everybody on these dinghies and tugboats. We're just gonna take out what we can. Oh, she's up here. See ya. Like, we're not going to fight everybody on here, and then I proceed to literally fight just about everybody on here. We're in caution. That's good. Now we're hidden. We're going to be going over there. We want to be very careful. There is a guy with a fat man or lady. Just depends on... Who's holding it, I suppose. 
And it is so easy to die from getting shot by a mini nuke. They are right up there. So what we're gonna do is get a headshot. Take out those spotlights. Open fire! Not that we're being very sneaky because we're crouching in broad daylight. Let's go over here. When you turn up, you're dead. We still need to games with me, huh? get the trophy for putting a grenade in somebody's pocket. So up top is where we need to go. We're going to come over here first. Get ourselves a Shit. U.S. Covert Operations Manual. There we go. This is the person that was holding the fat man. Sign of him now. We're gonna grab this unique weapon, the Lefusel Terribles. I don't know how to pronounce that. I apologize, everybody. Excellent. But it does 25% more damage to limbs, but also has more recoil. Go up this ladder. What the hell? Oh, it's on. <laughs> we'll take care of wire. Okay, and then up there. Come on, get out of the way, dog meat. Up there is a terminal to hack if you want to open up a safe. I'm not going to worry about it. For now, we're going to go to the Parsons State Insane Asylum. I went ahead and I rested for seven in-game days. That way, we can go back to Jack Cabot and get a special weapon. So let's go ahead and do that now. Take the elevator down. Hey. Ah, you're back. Good news. I figured out how to access the artifact's telekinesis effect. I've hooked it up to this old laser rifle. There's no way to control it without direct neural input. For better or worse, all of that was destroyed when my father died. But you still have a rather powerful directed force. Here, see what you think. So we get Lorenzo's artifact gun. You made a neat gun. Thanks. I hope you find some use for it. As for myself, I don't know. Maybe I'll finally travel to the Southwest. My father was always convinced that there was another alien city buried somewhere in the Mojave Desert. I think it'd be cool if in Fallout 5 we go out west and we can meet up with Jack Cabot and see what he's up to. Maybe he's out getting ready to go to the Mojave 
and uh, to look for the buried city. I think that'd be cool. Even if we like uh, the next fallout takes place in San Francisco or something, just kind of hear something on Jack Cabot. Let's go ahead and exit out of here. We're gonna go give the Death Claw their egg back. Anymore? Nope. So we're going to go over to Lynn Woods real quick. Take a left right here. Go up this hill. Go around these trees. Just make sure you're just going by the tower. That's really all it comes down to. And then right over here by this tire fire. I'm just going to head west. To northwest. More west than northwest, I, I suppose. Gonna see the death claw slide down. Go ahead and give her her egg back. Now you can bring the egg to Diamond City, but I feel like that's kind of an asshole thing to do. Death claws aren't inherently uh, bad; they're animals. So, you know, I, I don't hold any grudge against them for attacking humans, especially when humans are killing them and stealing their eggs. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and grab the um, hollow tape from the dead drop. So I'll see everybody over at the end. Well, hold on. Before I go over here, the dead drop is going to be random for everybody. It's going to be where it's, it's going to be somewhere different than where it is for me. So I'm going to go over to the NH and M freight depot and pick up the dead drop. I'll see everybody over there. just gonna walk straight just follow along until you uh, hit the dead drop location Oop, we're gonna crouch some Yao guys I think there's another one over here too. There is. Yagwai City over here. Grab the Augusta report. And then we're going to head over to... Hold on, let me zoom out. We're going to head over here to the Augusta safe house. So the closest place over by the Augusta safe house is the Fraternal Post 115. Go ahead and turn on our pit boy lamp, turn around and go straight. Be really careful, there's some raiders over here. They may see you, I don't know. Or maybe they won't. I'm just gonna turn off my pit boy lamp. It's pretty light out. I mean I know that it's dark, but it's light enough that everybody can see <laughs> we're gonna take a left here go by this red trailer
And then in the Augusta safe house, this is where we're going to get the pickpocketing trophy for leaving a live grenade on somebody. Oh, we got a level. Let's go ahead and put it into endurance. The reason I want it into endurance is because we're going to have to get rad resistance. So I'm probably going to have to grind out some levels in the uh, next video, like before the next video comes out. So probably about five levels. I'll have to start building up uh, Sanctuary and the castle, maybe some other settlements and uh, maybe doing some uh, quests for uh, the Minutemen. Jeez, took me forever to shoot that thing. Float flies. Let's go inside. Grab that bottle cap mine. Then right here we can pickpocket this raider and put a grenade on them. Oh, right here. I'm like, where's my grenades? So it'll automatically be a live grenade as soon as you put it into their inventory. Just make sure you back up as soon as you Get out of this. Get down! Get down! Oh. Hey. Who's out there? <laughs> Getting shook up over nothing. Oh. There. Pretty easy to take these guys out. They're not too difficult. We're in a pretty low level area, so the enemies are going to be lower level. Oh, that's a pretty good 10 millimeter pistol. Okay, the jet will make you jittery. take the elevator down or actually the elevator up it's it's not down i'm sorry going up sixth floor go down here you can loot up there but it just dead ends you'll have to come down here regardless I almost got them all there. Got to quick work of all of them. Asshole. Let's lock pick this door. Nice. Where'd that little fucker go? And then we're going to pick up the Augusta Station last update. If you want to listen to it, you can. It just says that they're under attack. That's literally all it says. We're under attack. So I'm not going to bother listening to the holotape. 
If there was more dialogue to it, I definitely would. Jesus, just murdering these fools. I kind of feel bad. We're going to hop down here, and then right over here is going to be a death claw. But it shouldn't be too hard to take out this death claw. Seeing that we're such a high level at this point. We're going to come over to the circuit breaker. Make sure you turn it on. Or else you're not going to be able to exit out of here. Oh, that's not bad. That's a pretty cool one to have. We can stand up, by the way. Take that. Open up this door. And then we're going to take some radix because there's a ton of radiation over here. Loot all this stuff real quick. And then we will head out. Unlock all that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into our pit boy. And we're going to go over to the Railroad HQ. Let's go ahead and talk to Dr. Carrington. Augusta safe house was destroyed by the Institute. It's as I feared. There's been panic Three safe the houses gone. Floating in the sky. <laughs> Hard to imagine. I, to I have nothing Thompson. further for you at the moment. Aliens are I'm sure real. someone else Enough. could use your help. The blimp no shortage of files to be put out. And it's operated by the Brotherhood of Steel. The Brotherhood... Let's go ahead and go over to Good Neighbor. Foot of steel. Stay free, man. Now we're going to go and meet up with Nick Valentine. Complete this quest. Dangerous Minds. He's already downstairs. For some reason, I guess the game's just being buggy. Dr. Amari? Yes. Wait, I know you. You're on the railroad. What's this all about? We need your help, Doctor. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg. But he's dead. I know it's asking for a miracle, Amari. But you've pulled off the impossible before. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, the brain implant could fit him. But that's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right. Let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine. Just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. I'm static. I... I... I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded 
It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Tell me you have a way past this, Doc. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we used to? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there, and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. And that makes it official, folks. The final vote counts... Turn down the goddamn radio! I'm trying to sleep! Remember. You are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. We are all citizens of the new California Republic. I'm sure that's going to take some getting used to for a lot of people. Mm, what a joke. What's it mean, Mom? Nothing, Connie. People like to talk and hope someone else is going to keep them safe. Teacher at school said the NCR would bring back the good old days, like before the big war. Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop sending you if that's what they're teaching you. I'm going out. Where the fuck did you put my boots? Listen to me, Connie. You take this. You're old enough. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless. But you won't turn out like him. You're a good boy. And all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hands. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. I... I will, Mom. I promise. I won't let you down. You've always been my good boy. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. It's gonna be fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You've gotta give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know. But that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's going to keep you and Mary safe. 
I promise. I know, Connie. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. You'll see. That's okay. I got her. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. He never forgot what his mother told him. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. I found another memory to try. I'll connect you. Mind if we uh, sit down? Suit yourself. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's um, problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job is done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it. So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. Now we see why Kellogg was the way he was. Kind of a sad backstory. Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Systems offline. Shutting down. Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We are running out of brain here. Ah. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Manual override initiated. Cryogenic stasis suspended. Vault computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all- Just... find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. This is the one. Here. Open it. <laughs> is it over? <coughs> Are we okay? Almost. Everything's gonna be fine. Come here. Come no, here, wait. baby. No, no. I've got him. Let the boy go. I'm only gonna tell you once. God damn it. Get the kid out of here and let's go. 
least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Come on, come on, come on. All right, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. So, good news, I think. Oh boy. Piper has really done it this time. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying she's right, but... Mayor, oh, he's gonna be really mad this time. I probably shouldn't have even, uh... Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. But the cry. Well, some heads are gonna roll and for this. Capture and return, or crying. just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, no, I guess you're cry. taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. It's all over But the dreamy X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Hi, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. That keep trying to come true. Bye. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Crying over. Slow no movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? I'm okay, Doctor. Thank you. That's good. But I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long-term damage. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? There's more than one person who knows about the Institute. Virgil, that scientist who escaped. I didn't know Institute scientists could defect. This changes everything. He could answer all sorts of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That can't be right. No one would risk going there, not even to hide. That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation and the glowing sea like a shield or a cloak a way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same, if you're going to follow him. I'll find a way to get through the rads. Don't worry. Good luck, and be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Let's go ahead and grab this rad X and rad away. We're definitely going to be needing that to be going to the glowing sea. And then we're going to come over here for the Robco fun. Excellent. This is going to give us Grognak and the Ruby Runes uh, Pip-Boy game. So much knowledge was lost when the bombs hit. Good Let's go talk to Nick Valentine. 
probably going to get a copyright strike for the music playing, which sucks, but whatever. It is what it is. Hey, Valentine. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Kellogg? Is that you? What? What are you talking about? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Amari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Let's get going, Nick. Been one heck of a ride so far. Let's see where it takes us next. Let's go outside and end the video. Good neighbor. Lowest place in the Commonwealth. Everything not nailed down rolls through here at some point. Alrighty, everyone. I want to start by telling you all thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean the world to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.